Hi, this is a tutorial on a John Mayer technique that he uses. Uh, it's this little thumb slapping technique. Uh, people will call it like a thumb slap and flip technique. He uses his thumb and index finger. Uh, I don't call it that because I don't physically flick my index finger when I'm doing it. Uh, it's more like how you'd see a banjo player playing claw hammer banjo. My, I put my hand into a certain position and just keep it there. Uh, looks like a claw, so that's that it gets its name. And when you're slapping with your thumb, you're gonna be hitting with the more the side of your thumb. So it's not it's not you're not holding your hand like this, like you're just traditional finger picking. So it's not like you're not using more towards the middle of your thumb. It's your thumb's stuck out a little bit more than normal, and you're hitting with the side right there, and you're just hinging on your wrist and aim like uh, whatever string you're trying to slap, aim like a little lower than the string and you just slap with your thumb and then your index finger just trails behind it and uh, you strike with the nail of your index finger. Uh, so uh, I'm going to be using the intro to stop this train, the version from where the light is to demonstrate this technique. Uh, we're in standard tuning, and the first measure, it starts off with this uh, D sus 2 chord, so it's just XX0230. I'll put the uh, tab uh, for each measure on the screen somewhere so you can uh, have that uh, follow along. Um, the intro, it follows this uh, same pattern. Uh, you're going to be plucking two strings with your thumb and index finger, and then you're going to be using the slap technique. Then there's an upstroke. Uh, you can use your middle finger for the upstroke. I limit myself just to use my index finger. I find that easier. Um, but whatever is comfortable, however you, however is more comfortable to learn it, you can do that. Um, then the next note, you're going to pluck with your thumb, and then an upstroke the next note with your index finger and then the slap technique on the fourth beat and the whole intro follows that same pattern so first measure is uh, you're gonna pluck the D string and the B string and then you're gonna slap the D string it's muted um, and you're gonna strike the G string on the second fret with your index finger And uh, it's okay if you hit the B string as well uh, at first. Uh, still sounds good either way, and it's hard to even notice. But the more you do it, the more precise you'll be able to get with uh, striking with your index finger. It'll just become instinct. Uh, so then the next, the next note is an upstroke on the E string. And then pluck the D string. Then pluck the G string. And then the fourth beat is uh, slapping again. So the whole measure is. And uh, then you just slide up the neck. Uh, I don't know what the next chords are. Uh, my theory isn't good enough to know what these chords are, but uh, the next measure is X0, X, X0607. So. And then the next measure is XX0605. And then the next measure is XX0200. And it goes back to the, it just repeats again, it goes back to that D sus2 chord. And then slides it up. Then it slides down again. Then again. So I'll play through the the entire intro right now a little slowly.
and just uh, work on it slowly, and then just slowly build up like pretty much anything. And uh, and don't worry if you're hitting more than one string. Uh, the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. Um, it's not really beginner technique, but I'm sure if you've been playing for a, uh, a little bit of time, that you'll be able to pick it up in no time and use it in whatever you want to use it in. Uh, it's pretty. It's pretty useful technique, it sounds pretty cool, and you can do a lot of things with it. Um, he's not really your traditional fingerstyle player, but uh, he utilizes a lot, and it sounds it's a good technique to have under your belt. Um, that's about as best as I can explain, I think. Uh, I hope it was helpful, and uh, good luck uh, trying it out.